Ohayou gozaimasu everybody and welcome to basic Japanese class for beginners. In our last class, I had given you some assignments to do at home. I hope you have all done it. Now in class today, I will just repeat it with you. I will again do it with you so that you know whether you have done it correctly or not. The first assignment that I gave you was write the names of the objects below. You have some pictures over here on the screen and you were to name them. Well, the first picture over here is origami. Now, origami is a Japanese popular art of paper folding. You will notice in these words here that some of the words are made by joining two words. For example, origami over here is a combination of two words, ori and gami. Now, ori means to fold and gami means paper. So, you join the two words and you get ori gami. Please remember it is gami and not gami. It is ori gami. The second one is densha, again a combination of two words. Den means electricity and sha means moving on wheels. So, this is densha, electric train. Kokuban, please get the pronunciation correctly, properly. Repeat after me also, Kokuban which of course you know what it is from the picture. Sentaki, Sentaki, Terebi. Now you will see over here that so far we have words written in Roman for you. Now over here you have something written in a different script. Now this is one of the scripts of Japanese which is Katakana which we have not done so far. We are only doing hiragana. Katakana is a script which is used for foreign words. So, terbi is television which is English and so we write terebi in katakana. The next word is saifu which is a wallet. Rezoko, a refrigerator. Boshi. Now you will see over here, it has a long sound. Boshi. Boshi means cap. I will just explain it to you a little over here. You can write Boshi or a long sound with a double O. You can write it with a O, with an O and U for a long sound and also you can put a bow or a dash on top and again it signifies and shows that it is a long sound. For example, bo shi, bo shi. And boshi. So, you can write it either which way you want, all are correct, please, but only you have to keep in mind that the sound is elongated. Boshi. Now, the next word is nagagutsu. Again, it is similar to origami, it is a combination of two words, nagai and gutsu. Nagai means long and gutsu means shoes. So, a combination of two, naga gutsu means long shoes or gumboots as we know. Kagi and we have tebukuro. Te over here is hand and bukuro is something you cover with or a bag. So, you cover your hands with something that is 
gloves. So, tebukuro a combination of two words again means gloves. I hope you all got it right. Now, the next assignment for you was match the words with the meanings. So, you have the Japanese words listed in group A and the meanings for these words in group B. The basic practice here is to memorize all the words and get the pronunciation correctly. So, please let us see what the answers are. Gakse means a student. Sensei, a teacher. Now, sensei is very interesting because sen means ahead, earlier or before and se means to be born. So, anybody who is born before you has more experience, knows more, can teach you, so is your teacher. Thus, sensei is for teacher. Kangofu. Isha, Shufu, as you can see, is a housewife. Panyasan is a baker. Bengoshi is a lawyer. Ninense, a second year student. Kyoju, a professor. Daigakse, a graduate student. Nihonjin, a Japanese. and Gaikoku Jin, a foreigner. Over here, Gai means outside, Koku means country and Jin means a person. So, anybody who is not from your country or is from outside your country will be a foreigner. Well, we go on to your next assignment. This was a very simple assignment for you where you were to memorize all the numbers from 11 till 30. A simple practice once again, very quickly we will practice. Ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go. Juroku, Junana, Juhachi, Jukyu, Niju, Niju Ichi, Niju Ni, Niju San, Niju Shi. Niju yon, Niju go, Niju roku, Niju nana, Niju hachi, Niju kyu, Sanju. So, you will see over here that if you remove the ju from here in the first set from 11 till 19, you get ichi, ni, san, yon, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu. And in the end, you have ni, ju. So, ni times 2 times 10 makes it 20. In a similar manner, in kanji, if you notice, you will see ju plus 1 makes it ju, ichi. Ju plus 2 makes it Juni, 
ju plus sun makes it ju sun. In a similar manner you can go right up till 20 and in the next one as well you have ni ju ichi. So, 2 times 10 plus 1 makes it ni ju ichi right till 29 and you have 3 times 10 in the end. So, please remember this, this is going to be very important, numbers are important because you will need it for a lot of things later on. Now, you had this assignment for where you were to tell from the picture what is the profession of these people. So, the first one let us see what it is, it is Pairetto. It is written in katakana. Oisha san is a doctor. Kangofu is a nurse. Ea hostess again in katakana. Astronotto again in katakana. And keika. So, I am sure you can all make out from the picture what they are, what their profession is. You have to see one thing over here which is that all foreign words are written in katakana. So, please keep that in mind anything that is not of Japanese origin, it could be German, it could be French, it could be English, it is to be written in katakana. All our names will be written in katakana. Now, last time if you remember in the end I left you with this phrase mata ashita aimasho which means let us meet again tomorrow. I will add this small little phrase before this sore deva minasan mata ashita aimasho. It means sore deva in that case well then minasan all of you let us meet again tomorrow. So, well let us meet again tomorrow is what the phrase meant. Now, we have been doing hiragana in the previous two lessons. We have completed quite a few sets earlier. Today, we will do the ma set or the m sound, the letter m and the sound ma. So, again we can combine letter M with A E U A O and make ma, mi, mu, me, mo. I will write it down for you and then we will do the vocabulary. Ma, mi, mu, me. Mo. For ma, the words are makura, which means pillow, macaroni, which you all already know is macaroni, machi means town. Mi, Mimi, Mimi means ear, Michi means road, Mu, Mune means chest, Mugi means wheat, Me. Me means eyes, megane spectacles, momo peach, mochi sticky rice cakes which are very very uh, popular in Japan are loved by children, mon is a gate, any entrance, any gate, main door of a house or a place is called mon. 
there is vocabulary for you, more vocabulary, which is very, very important. You have to learn this vocabulary as it will help you in making sentences later and in talking. Mame, Matsuri, Mikan, Miruku. You can see Miruku is written in Katakana again because it is a foreign word. Mushi, Mura, Meishi, Meishi. Now, these two words they sound very similar, but one is Meishi, which means a business card, and the other one is Meishi, which is rice or meals. Mori, Momen, we come to the Ya series now, Ya, Yagi, Yane, Yakitori, Yasai. And the meanings are listed over here on the right side for you. Now, you will see that after ya, we do not have a yi. Simple reason that yi is similar to the vowel sound e, thus, it has been removed from there, and directly we go on to you. Yuki. Yuki daruma, yure, yume, now again you will see that after you, ye is not there, why because ye again is similar to the vowel sound a, so it has been removed from the series and we directly go on to Yo, Yoru, Yome, Yon, Yon you have already done, so you will remember it. After the Y series, we will do the Ra series now, the letter R. I will write it again for you the ya series first and then the ra series ya you and yo then we have ra ra ri Ru, Re, and Ro. Rakuda, Rayon, Ringo, Ris. Rutsubo, Ruru, Rei, Renga, Roketto, Robotto, After Ro, we have wa, wa, there is nothing after wa, we have o and then the sound n. Now, wa 
Wani. Washi. O is a different sound. O is a particle over here and N is to be used with words as in Remon, lemon. So, we will do N later on with words. For the time being, let us see what we have now for you. O and M. Quick pronunciation practice. You remember doing it last time? We will do it again. It will help you in speech. As the sounds are new, the letters are new, the words are new. So, you will have practice with this pronunciation. Just repeat after me please. O e e e. Ho he he he. Ko ki ki ke. He he hu ho. Sasu sase. Tachi tatsu. Ko ki ku ko. Nani ne no. Sase su so. Nani nu ne. Sushi sase. Te chi tsu to. Ta chi tsu te. Mami mu me. Tochi tatsu. Me mi mu mo. Ha hi he ho. Mo mi mi me. Ho hi hi he. Ya yu ya yo. Sashi sasu. Rari rure. Hahi hahu. Reri raro. So, please I hope this is going to help you all. Last time in our previous class, I had done how to answer in positive. Kumar san wa gaku sei this ka. Do you remember all of you? Well, Kumar san wa, wa is a particle I told you earlier, gakse is a student, this is the verb part and ka as I had told you earlier makes a statement into a question. So, Kumar san wa gakse desu ka? The answer I told you was hi, how to say in positive, hi Kumar san wa gakse desu. Okay? Hi, Kumar Sanwa Gakse des. Well, today, how would you say negative? Kumar Sanwa Gakse des ka? E e. E e. Please remember e e e. E e. Kumar Sanwa Gakse Deva Ari. Masen. The negative for this is deva arimasen. Ie no 
Kumar San is not a student. Ee Kumar San wa gakse deva arimasen. Kumar San wa gakse deva arimasen. So you could please repeat after me. Ee Kumar San wa gakse deva arimasen. Conversation between two over here, Honda san and Kumar san. Kumar san wa gakusei desu ka? Iie, watashi wa gakusei de wa arimasen. Or, Iie, Kumar san wa gakusei de wa arimasen. Now, you can replace Kumar san for anything. For another noun over here. Kumar san mm. Tomodachi Tomodachi wa gakusei desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa gakusei desu. Okasan Okasan is mother. Okasan wa Sensei desu ka? Hai, okasan wa sensei desu. So, you can re replace this noun over here and this over here with whatever we have done in lesson 2. You can put a name over here, you can put your profession over here. For example, tomodachi wa bengoshi desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa Bengoshi desu. Or you could also say, Iie, tomodachi wa bengoshi de wa arimasen. So, this is positive and negative. The negative for this is de wa arimasen. Short answers, hai, so desu. Or, Iie, so de wa arimasen. Now, we will do something new today. Where are you from? Where do you come from? What is the name of your country? Something new over here, we will learn this today. This is a simple conversation, a very small conversation here. Konnichiwa, ah, tomodachi desu ka? So this, Mary san wa dai gakusei desu. Hajime mashite, Kim desu, dozo yoroshiku. Shitsure desu ga, oku ni wa dochira desu ka? Watashi wa Amerika kara desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? Taiwan kara desu. Dochira kara desu ka? This is a simple conversation, a very small conversation here. I will read it out to you first, then we will discuss it. So, it is a conversation between three people today, Kim San, John San and Mary San. Konnichiwa, a tomodachi desu ka? So desu, Mary San wa daigakusei desu. Hajimemashite, Kim desu, dozo yoroshiku. Shitsure desu ga, oku ni wa dochira desu ka? Watashi wa Amerika kara desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? Taiwan kara desu. So, I know it sounds very strange to you. Lot of things you do not know over here. We will discuss it right now. Well, you can see the conversation is here in the script now. Dochira kara desu ka? And you have Kim san and John. Kim and John written in katakana. You have some kanji characters here, and of course, you can make out the hiragana now. So, you will notice that. 
Japanese is written in all three scripts and they are used simultaneously. Of course, you can write Japanese in any one of the scripts also, but later on you will realize kanji is very essential. So well, kanji you have to learn and slowly during the lessons, we of course, we learn a lot of kanjis. Just go over it, practice your hiragana, your katakana and the kanjis that we have done and you will feel comfortable. Now this is your translation in English. Well, all the time translation cannot be done, it does not sound right. So, in the translations, sometimes I have written what is said in English. It may not be literal translation, it is just a gist meaning of what the kaiva is. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa is a phrase which is used as a greeting any time you meet someone konnichiwa in the daytime konnichiwa it's a simple greeting hello good day konnichiwa ah tomodachi desu ka tomodachi means friend tomodachi is friend ah tomodachi desu ka so desu short answer hai so desu or so this, Mary san wa daigakusei desu. You have already done daigakusei. Daigakusei means a uh, uh, university student, graduate student. So now what does Kim say to Mary san? Hajime mashite. Kim desu. Dozo yoroshiku. Shitsure desu ga. Oku ni wa dochira desu ka. Shitsure desu ga is a phrase which means I am sorry for inquiring but and whatever follows is what the person wants to know. So I am sorry, I am asking you something directly like this, shitsure desu ga, I apologize but o kuni wa dochira desu ka. Kuni is country, kuni means country and o in front of kuni like this is honorific. For someone else's country, you would always ask, O kuni wa, O kuni wa dochira desu ka? And for your own self, for your own country, you would just say, Kuni wa dochira desu ka? Dochira, dochira means where? It's a typical way of asking, where are you from? Not, where is your country? This phrase okuni wa dochira desu ka means where are you from? Mary says watashi wa amerika kara desu. Watashi wa amerika kara desu meaning from America. Watashi wa amerika kara desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Again because she is meeting Kim san for the first time then you introduce yourself as watashi wa so and so desu, watashi wa so and so kuni kara desu and yoroshiku onegai shimasu. This phrase is to be used only for the first time when you meet someone. Now Mary wants to know where is Kim from. She has already told him that she is from America. Now she wants to know where he is from. So she asks Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? Now, we had, we had done in our last lesson, if you put ka in the end, it becomes a question, interrogative statement, interrogative um, statement. So, the first, you, ha you will see over here that we have one ka over here and the next ka over here. So, we have two cars over here. Now, when you put it like this, this ka of course makes it into a question, a sentence into a question. But this ka sh shows or, or, or as in English. This or, this choice between two. So, over here she says, 
Taiwan Kara Des Ka Chu Goku Kara Des Ka. Are you from Taiwan or are you from China? So, please you can use it for anything. You can replace Taiwan over here and Chugoku over here. These are two nouns. You can replace them with Anata wa daigakusei desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Anata wa kyoshi desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Anything you can ask. Are you a lawyer? Are you a doctor? Are you a student or are you a teacher? You can ask any of these things in this pattern. It is choice between two things. So, over here you will see Mary says Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? So, Kim says Taiwan kara desu. I am from Taiwan. I hope this is clear. This is two cars over here. Ka 1 and ka 2. This makes it a question and this is or. Please remember that. And you can ask anyone anything like this. America Indo. America kara desu ka? Indo kara desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Isha desu ka? Shufu desu ka? Sensei desu ka? So, anything you can ask, you can put any noun over there and you can ask for anything like this. Now, over here, as you can see, dochira is an interrogative word referring to place meaning where and is a standard way of asking the name of someone's country or company. Please remember that with dochira when you say okuni wa dochira desu ka, you generally ask the person where he is from. Please remember and not where his country is. Kaisha wa dochira desu ka meaning where are you working and not where is your kaisha or office. Similarly over here, o kuni, kuni is country and o is a prefix used before country and some other Japanese words. For example, onamai which we will do a little later. Whenever a place name, place name is followed by kara, it states from that all right please it is written over here when a place name is followed by kara it shows that a person is from that place or country and it is a most widely used expression for asking where a person is from. Now we have done you are from India or you are from America or you are from Japan but what about I am Japanese or I am Indian or I am American. I belong to this country. So, well there is a there is a definite way of saying it. Wata shi wa America Indo. This is India. Nihon. This is Japan. Doitsu, Germany, Watashi wa America jin desu, America jin desu, Watashi wa Indo jin desu, Watashi wa Nihon jin desu, Watashi wa Doitsu jin desu. Now, jin over here means person and it says Watashi wa I am American, I am Indian, I am Japanese and I am German. So, jin is used for person belonging to that country. 
You can ask a question, Kim san wa America jin desu ka? So, you can answer in hai, watashi wa America jin desu or iie, watashi wa America jin de wa arimasen. As you can see, add jin after the name of the country, kankoku jin, Italia jin, Doitsu jin, Chugoku jin, Vietnam jin. So, after the name of the country, just add jin and you become belong to that country. Just now we did x desu ka, y desu ka, noun 1 desu ka, noun 2 desu ka. It simply says or or either, there is a choice between the two. Now for noun 1 you can also use simple, you can also replace it with simple words that you have done, enpitsu, kyokasho, pen, noto, jisho, jibiki. Jibiki. So, you can replace it with any of this. Empitsu is pencil and pen of course, you all know. So, you can ask like this, pen desu ka, empitsu desu ka. So, there is a choice between the two, which is it? So, is it a pen or a pencil? Pen desu ka, empitsu desu ka. In a similar manner, you can also ask noto. Kyokasho. Noto desu ka? Kyokasho desu ka? Noto desu ka? Kyokasho desu ka? So, you can inquire about these things. Some, some pictures are there for you. You can point at the picture and ask pen desu ka? Enpitsu desu ka? As I just told you, Kyokasho desu ka, noto desu ka. You can also ask a person, gakusei desu ka, kyoshi desu ka, kaban desu ka, saifu desu ka. Point at an object and you can ask at this object over here, keitai desu ka, keisanki desu ka. Keisanki is a calculator over here. Kaban desu ka, saifu desu ka. So, you can point at anything, you can ask anyone anything you want in this pattern, in this manner. A simple useful expression, we did this earlier, shitsure desu ga in our uh, conversation just now, as I told you, shitsure desu ga means sorry for asking, I apologize for asking like this, but and whatever is to follow is what you actually want to know. So, over here it is something different, shitsure desu ga, o namae wa nan desu ka? Namae means name, but if I ask someone else, honorific you have to add this honorific over here, o namae, o namae wa Nan desu ka? Nan is a simple question word, question word meaning what? O namae wa nan desu ka? The moment you say o namae, it automatically means that you are asking someone else and it is not your own name. O namae wa nan desu ka? So, you can answer watashi wa whatever your name this. Watashi wa Tanaka Jim Kim Jane Rao, whatever 
your name this means my name is this. Now, for practice again we have done numbers till 30 today we will do from 31 till 40 over here. You can just repeat after me for practice and to get the correct pronunciation. Sanju Ichi Sanju Ni Sanju San Sanju Yon or Sanju Shi Sanju Go Sanju Roku Sanju Nana or Sanju Shichi Sanju Hachi Sanju Q and Yonju. I hope you got it right. The next set is from 41 till 50. Yonju Ichi, Yonju Ni, Yonju San, Yonju Shi or Yonju Yon, Yonju Go, Yonju Roku, Yonju Nana or Yonju Shichi, Yonju Hachi, Yonju Q and we have Goju over here. Okay, now, we have something different over here, we are going to do some kanji characters. We had done kanji characters in lesson 2 as well only 3 though. So, we will do 4, 5 and 6. Now, how, how to make kanji characters, how to memorize them, there is a method, there is a pattern to make it, you have to remember that. Kanji characters are all written from left to right and from top to bottom most of the time. The reason is that whenever you end a character, it should always end in the right lower corner of the block. We did Ichi which finished here, we did Ni, two simple lines which ended over here, three lines San, it ended over here in this block like this and then you can go on to writing the next character. That is why it is important to always memorize the stroke order and try to end it always over here. Now, we will do yon which you have done, ichi, ni, this is one stroke, san, shi and go. This is yon, ichi, ni, san, shi and go, five strokes to the kanji character for yon which is 4. Once again ichi ni san shi and go, it will always end over here. For example, if you have to write yonju which is 40, like this yonju it is easy to go on to the next character. Yon has two readings you have done Yon and Shi, the kanji is the same Yon. You can see it over here Shi or Yon, this is how it is to be made. Then we go on to the next character which is 
go go 1 2 3 similar to this one 3 and 4 like this four strokes to the character go 5 once again 1 2 3 and 4 please remember 1 2 3 one stroke and four. This makes it go. Then we will do six over here. Six, six, which is Roku. It is very simple, not difficult at all. One, two. 3 and 4 like this 1 2 3 and 4 roku roku is that okay please remember roku kanji is actually very interesting when we do more after we finish numbers you will actually get to know how it is to be done how it is to be written and what actually it is just three characters for you today now, not more. So, you have done ichi, once again for you please, ichi, ni, san, yon, go and roku. Six characters, please memorize them. Remember the readings, we will be needing them when we do numbers later on with other things. Now, in the end, I have to give you your assignment. Now, your homework begins. Assignment 1 is just count from 1 till 10 and list it properly, which is 1 and which is 10. Then, you have a simple figure over here. Look up the dictionary and write the names of the objects present in the picture. For example, this is what is this? what is this, what is this, what are these, what is this or this and what is all this. So, please look up the dictionary and see what these words, what these words are and also how many are there, how many things are there in the picture. For example, what about this one, how many over here, how many over here, what is the number over here. So, you can list all of that. Then again this is for this is for vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important because you will be needing it for uh, sentence construction later on. So, name the objects. You have these pictures just name use a dictionary you can consult a dictionary and name the pictures. Now, look at the pictures of the people and tell where they are from and what is their nationality. So, look at this, see this picture, this person is from Germany. So, you have to tell the name of his country and also that he is from that place. So, please do it as we have done it in the class. Now, practice saying this with your partner where you are from. America, Italy, Japan, Korea, Germany. You can just practice at home so that your vocabulary also increases and you are able to speak more freely. And practice saying, I am Indian, Indojin des. Similarly, for German, Korean, Italian, French, and Japanese. This is your homework. You have to practice this. Now you are going to be happy. So, sore de wa, kore de You can see what is written over here. Sore de wa, well then, kore de. With this, I finish here today. So, mina san, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.